occupational therapist at Burke Rehabilitation Hospital. And today I'm going to talk to you about home safety and energy conservation techniques. First, home safety. The two most dangerous places in the house are the kitchen and the bathroom, with the bathroom being the most dangerous place in the house. So, most important, use your device. Whatever your physical therapist has deemed it important for you to use, be it a cane or a rolling walker, make sure that you bring that into the bathroom with you. If you're having trouble getting your rolling walker into the bathroom, we can move the wheels inside or we can work with you on sidestepping. By no means should you be holding on to the furniture or the walls when in the bathroom. We do allow you to hold on to the counter when you're in the kitchen, but that's the only room in the house that we allow you to hold on to furniture when you're uh, in a room. That brings me to another point, durable medical equipment. That means raised toilet seat with arms, uh, a grab bar in your tub or your shower. You should work with your occupational therapist to decide what durable medical equipment will be best for you to use. At no time should you be holding on to a soap dish or a shower door or a toilet paper dispenser. If you need something to help you up from the toilet or when you're in the shower to step in or to sit down, you should work with your occupational therapist on deciding what the best thing for you to use is. And that brings me to another point. When you are going in to bathe, make sure that either you have someone in the house or you phone a friend before you go in. And you should bring your phone in. That could be your, your cell phone or a cordless phone or if you have a light alert. It's no good to you if it's out in the living room and you need to use it to get help. Make sure that you have someone in the house, phone someone and let them know that you're going to be bathing and also bring your phone in should you need help while you are in the bathroom. And that brings me to yet another point. Make sure that while you will have the door closed for safety, that at no time do you lock the bathroom door. You want to have the door closed for your privacy, but at no time should you lock the bathroom door. This way, if anyone needs to reach you, they won't have to get through two doors to get to you. So just make sure the door is closed to your, for your privacy, but at no time do not lock the bathroom door. Lastly, I want to discuss good footwear. This means sneakers that fit, slippers, socks with grippers. You should never walk in socks that don't have grippers or teds. Bare feet are okay, but definitely you want to have sneakers or slippers that are not ill-fitting. And you want to have a clear pathway when you walk to the bathroom. And that goes for the rest of your house as well. But particularly for the bathroom at night, you want to have a clear pathway to get to the bathroom. And if a night light will help you, uh, you can use a night light as well. Well, that's all I have to talk to you today about home safety. Thank you and I hope these tips were useful for you.